Hi. All right. Let's discuss this question. The first term of a geometric series. Uh, they have mentioned that geometric series, right? So the first term of a geometric series is five, right? Uh, so and the common ratio is one point five, right? One point five. The question here, the most important thing is, do you understand the question? The question said that to find the number of terms needed such that the sum of the series, ah, the sum of the series exit, exit means more than, uh, no equal because they said exit must be more than 200. All right. So it means that if I given you a first term to be five, right? Uh, the first term to be five, and if you keep multiplying by 1.5, right? You multiply by 1.5, alright? You take 5, multiply by 1.5, you will get 7.5, right? Uh, 1.5 multiply 5, you have 7.5, alright? 7.5. If you multiply 1.5 again, you will have uh, 7.5 multiply 1.5. Sorry? 7.5 multiply 1.5. You have uh, 11.25. What can you observe, right? What can you ask? Apa yang you boleh perhatikan? What can you observe? The number getting bigger and bigger and bigger, right? Yeah, for this question, you don't need to write out this thing, okay? But I want to tell you the meaning here is, you see, if you multiply, right, the number getting bigger and bigger, right? So, the question here is, when is the time when I plus, okay, this one, of course, is 12.5. You plus with this one, the number getting bigger and bigger, right? Until when the number is getting more than 200, right? Of course, if you add up this three, it's not more than 200, right? So you have to keep adding. So until which term? The question here is, they want to find the minimum number of terms, right? Uh, minimum number of terms so that until when is the first number that more than 200, okay? Now, so very simple. Okay, if you don't if, if, if you don't know, you can still apply the formula, right? The formula here is the Sn, uh, A1 minus Rn over 1 minus R. I don't use the sum formula for arithmetic because the question already gives me common ratio. And the question gives me uh, state already the geometric series, right? So, okay, so now the time is you want to find the sum is greater than uh, the sum, okay, sorry, I need to rewrite this one, the Sn to be A first, the A is 5. Uh, 1 minus R is 1.5 to the power N over with 1 minus 1.5, right? So, I better to uh, calculate first before I solve the inequality, right? So, 5 divided by 1 minus 1.5, negative 0.5. Uh, you are getting negative 10, right? Negative 10, 1 minus 1.5 power n. Uh, this is your Sn after simplify, right? So, the question here is, Sn must greater than 200. Exit 200 means that negative 10, 1 minus 1.5 to the power of n must be greater than 200, right? Uh, this is the setting. Ini adalah setting anda. Mesti betul. The, so you want to find the value of n. Uh, when is the value of n? Is go, uh, if, what, what is the value of n? That it will turn more than 200. So we're going to find, right? So first you have negative 10, right? You want to divide by negative 10 both sides. Uh, be careful about when you're doing inequality. When you divide by negative 10, the sign you have to change, right? 200 divided by negative 10 uh, will be negative 20, right? Uh, you have negative 20, but you don't forget to reverse the sign because you divide both sides by negative 10, right? Property of inequality. So then you have uh, 1 minus 1.5 to the power of n less than, oh, sorry. So you have negative 1.5 to the power of n, right? Less than, uh, less than negative 20 minus 1, negative 21, right? Negative uh, 21. So again, you divide both sides by negative 1 or you multiply both sides by a negative number. So again, you have to change the sign, right? Ah, be careful, alright? 
Be careful. So now you, the 221, of course, the smallest base is not 1.5. So we have to put log both sides. Uh, this is to learn in during your chapter 2, right? You put log both sides. But you have to be careful again also because uh, you can bring down the n log 1.5 more than log 21. The, 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 the thing that I, you, you need to be cautious is you must make sure this number is not negative. Of course, this is not negative because it's uh, not in the range between 0 and 1, right? So, but I have to find the value log 1.5. So, which n greater than you take log base 10 of 21, log 1.5 to base 10, and then you will get the value of n here. So you can key in using your calculator. So uh, log 21 divide by log 1.5, base 10, uh, 1.5. So you have 7.51, right? So you have uh, n greater than 7.51 n is an integer right n represent the number of term t1 t2 t3 t4 right so n more than 7.5 you cannot choose 7 because 7 is not in the range so the minimum number right the question okay look at look back the question this question said uh, the number of term needed nah, needed right needed diperlukan it's like minimum, you know, okay, needed. So, which is n equals to 8. You need 8 term. You need 8 term. Sum up all the 8 term in order to be greater than 200. Right? 8, 9, 10 and so far. But we choose 8 because we just need 8 already enough to greater than 200. Alright, that's all for this question. Hope you understand.